I'm Graham Sills. I'm a lecturer in pharmacology at the University of Liverpool and I've had an interest in anti-epileptic drugs for over 20 years. Anti-epileptic drugs are given to treat seizures but unfortunately they also cause side effects, particularly when people have to take higher doses of those drugs. And the brain is extremely complex and what we have in epilepsy, although we've got maybe 20 drugs to treat epilepsy now, none of them is designed specifically to treat the underlying problem in the brain. They're all designed to treat the seizures. And so we all obviously have to enter the brain, but we can't target the drugs to the part of the brain that might be damaged in some people. And we can't target the drugs to the underlying problem in the brain because in most cases we don't really understand what that is. And in some patients, they don't have a clear underlying problem. They don't have anything wrong on their MRI scan. So we don't know which part of the brain we need to send the drugs to. So what we end up with is a situation where people take the drugs as tablets, they enter the bloodstream, from there they enter the brain and they enter all parts of the brain at the same time. They don't just enter the part of the brain where the epilepsy is coming from. And so we can expect that they will have effects in normal parts of the brain or parts of the brain that are not involved in the seizures. And whilst they don't have as large an effect perhaps in those other parts of the brain, they do still interfere with normal function of the brain. They perhaps reduce the speed at which nerve cells can talk to one another and so they make things a little bit more slow, they slow the brain down a little bit. They might make people feel a bit dizzy where they interfere with the parts of the brain that are involved in balance. They might make people have blood vision where they interfere with parts of the brain that are control eyesight. One of the most devastating side effects from a patient's point of view is the loss of memory associated with epilepsy and what we have yet to really understand is whether this is because of the epilepsy and whether these people have something fundamental associated with their epilepsy that means that their memory deteriorates over time or whether it's perhaps related to the use of specific anti-epileptic drugs and in fact there's a good chance that it's a combination of the two it's the epilepsy and the drugs but we know that some drugs have bigger effects on memory than others But we also know that the effects on memory in two different individuals can be completely different even when they're treated with the same drug. It's very difficult to have a drug that controls only the epilepsy without having the other side effects. There's nothing we can do about it. It's something we have to accept that these drugs interfere with normal brain function as well as brains that are generating epileptic discharges. The extent of individual side effects varies from patient to another and sometimes it takes a bit of time for a patient to find the drug that best controls their seizures but gives them the fewest amount of side effects and it's not the same drug for everyone so there's a bit of trial and error involved.